This is a chart on Xpeng, an EV automaker in China. If you look at the point I mentioned Xpeng on the 13th of June, price went up a whopping 100%. Today, this video, I'm going to talk about the key levels you need to take note on Xpeng and why the news on Volkswagen is such a big deal. This was the piece of news that drove Xpeng higher last night in the US trading. It went up as much as 42%. Volkswagen says that it will buy stakes in Xpeng and it will jointly develop two new EVs with the Chinese automaker. And the two new EVs is going to underpin Xpeng G9 SUV, but it's going to be sold under the Volkswagen brand name. First, we're going to talk about how important is this Volkswagen brand name in China. I want to share when I was in China, in Shanghai and Suzhou about year 2000, the car that I was chauffeured in was a Volkswagen. It's under this brand called Shanghai Taozhong. It's Volkswagen and a local partnership. At that point of time, there's Mercedes-Benz, uh, probably not a lot of high-end Lamborghini or Porsche because then I don't think the Chinese was that rich at that moment. But out of 10 cars, those luxurious foreign-made brands, out of 10 cars, I think that about 7, 6 to 7 would be a Volkswagen car because this is like so common. So if you look at the statistic of Volkswagen in terms of the Chinese preference, then according to the 2022 survey by the China Passenger Car Association, Volkswagen was the most popular foreign car brand in China with a market share of 14.5%. The survey also found that Chinese consumers have a high level of trust in Volkswagen, with 77% of respondents saying that they would be willing to buy a Volkswagen car. So when Xpeng is going to produce the car for Volkswagen, which is an EV car, and that's going to be sold under the Volkswagen brand, then it's a locally made EV car, but the branding would be from Volkswagen, which is a brand that's very much established starting from when China first opened up, starting from, I would guess that even from the 1970s to 1980s. There are three main factors why I think that the car that's produced by Xpeng but branded under Volkswagen is going to sell very well because the brand, which is Volkswagen, Shanghai Daozhong, has a long history in China dating back to the 1980s. This has given Volkswagen a very strong reputation of quality and reliability. I mean, you look at me, right? I remember Shanghai Daozhong. I remember this is a luxurious car that picked me up every day, you know, when I go to work. Second, Volkswagen is seen as a premium brand and Chinese consumers are increasingly willing to pay for quality. Third, Volkswagen has been very successful in marketing its cars to the Chinese consumer. The brand has a strong presence in China's media and its cars are often featured in movies and TV shows. This is um, the full chart since IPO. Take note of yesterday when it went up, it is above the low of the IPO price. That means that when it was first listed, Xpeng reached a low of about 17.30. Yesterday, finally, we saw that price moved above the 1730. Likewise, this level here, which is 1730, will become a support level. A very important support level. If ever price can retrace, then this level is a level that you want to take a look at. Let's take a look into the volume. Yesterday was a huge, tremendous volume. And that's why today the moved continue. But we know that unless that there's, there's a, a lot of positive news, there will be always be retracement. That means there always be times where, you know, those who bought at the low will be looking to take profit. And uh, I'll be noting two levels, okay? key two levels to take note. One would be potentially Xpeng to close this gap here. And the gap will be about 1730, which is the level that I mentioned just now. The second level is exactly this, the recent low here, all right, and that's about 18.30. So we have two levels here uh, where I'm expecting some form of a retracement. That means from price to come down, FISA to this level, which is about 18.30, or if not, to move slightly lower, and that's about 17.30. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? Xpeng is also listed in Hong Kong Exchange under the code 9868. And today, trading at about 11.44 a.m. Price is still very enthusiastic. It's still like near to the high of the range. We don't see much profit taking yet. Can see that the market is really bullish about this move.
How high can Xpeng go then? I'm predicting that for the US listed stock that it might move to this level here which is about 23, 24 and it makes sense because that's the high point of IPO and then some of the historical support resistance yeah. As you can see, I'm quite positive on this and I'm marking in another level here which is the 39.50 region and that's shine of $40 which I'm talking about a potential 400 percent rise in this movement here from the point I talk about it at about ten dollars or you know twelve dollars there about to potentially move up to a target of forty dollars. Do let me know what you think of Xpeng and you know if you have driven any of its car let me know what you think as well. I'll be going to China at the end of the year to try on some of the EV cars including Xpeng cars and if you'd like me to discuss any stocks do let me know and leave it in the comment.